Hey everyone, the portrait here. Just want to briefly talk about the process. The light structure lines and shapes is made with my soft blending stump. As always, some of the key landmarks to hit is the position and shape of the eyebrow, which is very closely related to the size of the eye socket and the size slash position of the eye. The dimensions of the nose, both the length and the shape of the nose bridge is always very important also. Then we have the corners of the lips. So eyes, nose, lips. Those are almost always the most important features to get right. It's not that the shape of the face is not important, but you generally have more flexibility in tweaking them. And when I started drawing and making things very light in the beginning, it allows me to assess the placements while not committing to anything yet. Only when the structure feels decent that I go in with the dark tones. I don't always start out joints this way, but for a while now, it is my preferred method. Everything else is more or less by the book. I put in considerable uh, more time defining, refining, should I say, the face than anything else. And as the joint gets away from the central point of interest, which in this case, and most cases, when it comes to portraiture, right, uh, the central point of interest is the face. So as the drawing moves away from it, everything else becomes more abstract and loose. It's like they're supporting characters. The highlight in the hair is made with eraser. I almost never use white pencil if I'm already working on white paper. And as pretty much always, this drawing is made with one charcoal pencil and one piece of compressed charcoal. There's never a need for different hardness of pencils if one medium allows you to create every tone that you need. For the real-time video and simpler draw-along exercises, check out my Patreon that's on the screen. And any questions, leave a comment. Let me know. Cheers!